My dear friends, I have relapsed. My hasten addiction is back. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Cornfish and today it's happening. We're going back to Hasty. Today we are taking John Hasty and putting him inside of a volcano. We're gonna form a kingdom that is so small that it's literally making up a few islands. That's right everyone. We're going to form the High Kingdom of the Canary Islands. I'm serious, this kingdom is super small, but very impressive. I'm sure you said that sentence a lot in the bedroom. <laughs> now I know how much you guys love Hasty, so if you want to boost this video in the algorithm, you can leave a like and a comment. It really does help out and lets my videos be seen by more people. But less talking and more raiding, let's form the cool kingdom of the Canary Islands. We are once again here in Montegu, but we want to go and conquer all of these islands. Akinek, Maxorata, and of course, Madeira. Madeira, Madeira. I'm going Madeira, just looking at this map all the time. This is my job, people, I look at a map. Now to get there, it's a very long trip. So we're gonna stop by and say hi to Simu, conquer Tangiris, and set our lifestyle to chivalry. This will give us a cool plus five advantage. We also have the strategies tree, giving us sappers so that we can conquer areas super quick. Now in chivalry, I only need one thing, that is stalwart leader. After that, we're gonna pivot and go over to scholar. You'll see why very soon. Take the raiders and let's go to Morocco. Salam Aleikum! Now from Tangier here, we can raise a runestone, which only costs a bit of money, but gives us a bunch of cool stats. We're basically paying 50 gold to get all of this. Very nice. Put it in Tangier. Now from here, we will be conquering the rest of the islands that we need. Declare war on all of these areas. They are weak, they are pitiful, and they sure as heck weren't expecting a viking today. No one expects a viking. Get on the boat, and let's do an island hopping campaign that will put the Americans to shame. Oh yeah, it's working. First island taken. Now on to the next one. Boom! We've captured the man himself. That's a nice little ransom. We'll take that. Any gold we can get. We also have even more children for the Viking daycare. Convert and recruit. Convert and recruit. Thank you very much. We've now got a stalwart leader. Jarlbjörn, you're too far away for me to talk to you. But know this, you are my homie and my best friend. Boom, we've captured yet another character. We can ransom it for 50 gold. Wow, you guys are really, really rich. Nice. And just like that, we've captured all of the islands of the kingdom. <laughs> Let's move our capital to Akinek. And after forming the Duchy of the Canary Islands, we've gained a new decision. Consolidate the Canaries. Just like someone that is owning a bunch of birds that are currently flying away, we can consolidate the Canaries. Since the time immemorial, each of the islands have called themselves a kingdom. But now our horizons are broadening and the world is beginning to unfold itself to the Canaries. At last, it is time that these many kingdoms are united under one crown. That's right, we're gonna become King of the Canaries. And all we need to do is to get every county to at least 10 development and have every baron in the Canaries at least one holding. Which means that we need to build at least two castles or cities. Now we do have an option here. Either we stick with our also true religion or we pivot to the absolutely based Akamanism. Literally sun, moon gods, monoliths, and that's right, entire goddamn volcanoes. And the best part is, it's unreformed, and its holy sites are more or less within reach. This means that we will not only convert to the religion, but then turn it into a viking one. Very, very cool. Now let's do something that pains me a lot. We're gonna give this away to a Frenchman, but I will hold on to Tangier, just to mess with Simo. Now to convert to this faith, we're gonna have to spend a lot of piety. A lot of piety that we don't currently have. But to make this a little bit cheaper, we can go all the way to scholarship and get apostate. Faith conversion costs minus 75. Now that looks like a great deal. Considering we have to boost the development of the area, we will also pick up scientific and plant cultivation. Very cool. Hasten is not just the best raider, he's also the smartest. Let's boost the development to at least 10 by taking our very cool spy master, kicking him out and replacing him with Agelid. Very cool. Our court is currently filled with Catholic Frenchmen. That's not exactly great, but we will slowly phase them out. So what do we do now? It would be great for us if we could pick up another holy site. Now the holy sites are quite scattered, literally in Alexandria over here, but also Carthage and Cartagena. Now I'm thinking that Cartagena is probably gonna be the easiest one to hold. So if we just wait for a bit, then the Sultan Muhammad ibn al-Amrahan of al-Andalus will completely explode. So now we have one very quick goal in mind, and that is raiding. As much darn gold that we possibly can get. So let's raise all of our troops as raiders. We're gonna pick up as much gold as we can get. <laughs> And hopefully a little prisoner somewhere here along the way. We'll also pick up chivalric dominance. 
This gives us a bonus 75 to our knight effectiveness. We've done a bit of raiding, and now it's time to feudalize our holdings. We'll start with our main one, as that should give us the most levies. Oh yeah, feudalize that sucker. Very, very cool. God damn it, I love being feudal. Oh yeah, very nice. We can increase the development by raiding. Based, very based. Oh my lord, I got the hunting dog. <laughs> Let's name him Canary. Oh my lord, I need to pet him. I'm super stressed. I'm also gonna go on a baller hunt. Anything to help me de-stress. Oh yeah, great hunt. Don't think I've forgotten about you, Ireland. We're coming. I will capture me a fair maiden. That's not a fair maiden. That's a giant Jew. Holy moly, that's a giant Jew. Tell you what, I'll recruit you and you, go, you join me instead. I came looking for silver, but I found gold. <laughs> oh yeah, I got myself a battle Jew. And now we head back home. Wow, I love playing hasty. It's so based. Are we strong enough to take Venice? Probably. I'll give it a shot. Come here, you Venetians. Oh yeah, they got schmunked like a bag of paper. Oh yeah, even more development for my home area. Nice. That's what I want to see. Our current development is five. That's like really bad. So we're gonna have to look at our innovations. The Vikings are the ones that rule this innovation area. So I'm thinking that I'm really gonna have to make a new culture. Very cool. We can easily do this by having our steward promote cultural acceptance. I'm thinking we're either gonna stop by on Ireland. Nope, that's fully raided. In that case, we're gonna stop by our island neighbors. That's right, Mallorca. <laughs> wow, so much, so much good loot here. Nice to see, nice to see. And even more development. I love it. And we've gotten plant cultivation. Increased development in county efficiency plus 20%. Huge. We'll now take our last bit of gold and feudalize the county of Madeira. Very cool. We now have only feudal holdings. That should give us more levies to play with so we can actually properly raid. I love it. Now all we need to do is to get every county to at least 10 development and let every barony hold one holding. Now as far as I know, it's just this holding and this holding. That's it. That's literally it. Now I happen to know an absolutely base thing we can do. Because we have to do it anyways sometime. We're gonna convert to our lover's religion and become a Kabanic. Very cool. We just need a little bit more heat. So we're gonna be a bit heretical and go on a crusade. All the way to Jorvik. One last goodbye to the Vikings. And now we convert. Adopt faith. We become Akamanism. Very cool. Now this religion lets me build megalithic constructions that give us huge development in hills. This will make this whole process a lot faster. I can also build a grand temple that would speed it up even more. But what we're looking at is the great megalith, which we can build right now. All we need is a bit more gold. This is absolutely based. Please convert to my very good religion. Now we still have the ability to raid. We've lost absolutely nothing. Raise the lands, and off we go. Man literally went on a pilgrim, and then came back with a different religion. I don't think that's how it works, but we're gonna go raid the Irish. Booyah, I caught myself a Galway girl. And the woman that I actually raised is now... Uh, oh no, koi fish, this is kinda messed up. Oh well, uh, you are a concubine. Wait, these are secondary spouses! That's even more based! I love it! Love has prevailed. And I can take this woman and make her my primary spouse, which lets me use... Her stats that will give me an insane stewardship bonus. I love it. Wow, based polygamy. Tell you what, we need more gold. Raising development like this is very expensive. We're gonna conquer our cool friends over here in Cagliari and take over Cagliari to get, oh yeah, Argentiera mining settlement. Thank you very much for your cool area. I'm going to take this and put your people to the mines. That gives us a whole lot more gold. Very nice. Now we're gonna take the 600 gold we made and build an absolutely massive pile of rocks. It's very expensive, but it gives us a whopping 15% development growth, as well as learning lifestyle experience and naval speed. Build that sucker. We're also 7% into forming a hybrid culture. I can also enact ritual schmooze mine, which would be very bad. I don't want to do that. Why is this even an option? That's a base religion. Now we need even more gold, so we're gonna keep raiding. Hello, hello, Venetians. Also, another victim for the Viking daycare. Vera de la Con, importing Norsemen. No, thank you. We'll make them ourselves. <laughs> wow, so much gold. So little time. I love it. Tell you what, let's prepare for when it's time to reform this religion. We're gonna need this holy site. So, I'm gonna take it. The Dutch of Murcia. That's where it's at. This guy will not be able to stand against us. Very, very based. Oh my lord. We absolutely schmunked them. But we did lose our steward. Oh well, son, you can take the position again. <laughs> Holy macaroni. That's impressive. What's this? No! The king of Italy wants to take Sardinia? 
Oh, that's it. What's the biggest alliance I could get? That's nothing. No. No, sir. They, no, it's mine. It's my mind. Let me have it. I need it. I need the gold from it. Boom. And that's all I need to capture this duchy. Very cool. That puts me in a bad situation. The Italians are here and they're trying to siege me down. Not great. Not great. Their capital is a bit off the coast, so we can't really get to it easily. If we enforce the mans and pay me 500 gold, that's something to keep in mind if we were to hire mercenaries. Alternatively, we could try to secure a cool alliance. This, will, this would give us a thousand troops. Not exactly enough to push us over the edge to win. Do I just give up and give him Sardinia? Well, yeah, especially considering he has the Scottish on his side. Fine, take it then. I hate you so much. You are a scrum. But you know what that means? We control the holy site. Very nice. And we can build even more megaliths. Very cool. What in the goddamn Naruto magic is this? Did did you seriously duplicate yourself? That's that's the same woman, right? It sure is. Good job. Well, we have Kettlemunder and Emunder. Two base little children. I love it. And Vera de Lacon. Oh my lord. You cocky hussy! You rattling boar! You're a shiver looking for a spine to run up, you hussy! Isora screams at the top of her lungs. Oh my lord, it seems that your lovers are at each other's throats. Original wife and then new wife. Oh my lord. You unrestrained emotions make him wretch in disgust, you amorosa. Hasting couldn't love an apparent Jezebel like you. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Bloody exciting. Fight. Fight. What? You killed Vigdis. You, you killed my soulmate. Oh my lord. That's so based. That's so based. You killed my wife. <laughs> what in the goddamn Crusader Kings is going on? Tell you what, let's get some more wives. Why not? Well, she died. I know why. Incredibly based. And I have everything I need to reform the religion. Now all I need is the Prophet perk, which will be pretty quick to get. Oh yeah, that didn't take long. Prophet. This will let us reform this faith for a, for a measly sum of 2,500 piety. All we need to do now is to build that piety up. If you can't pay, <laughs> we'll execute them away. Throw them into the volcano. Il Volcano. Now we'll switch over to domain focus to properly get centralization that will give us even more development growth. Very nice. As long as we keep raiding, there will be money for upgrades. And as long as there's money for upgrades, we can upgrade our holdings. We're gonna go on a very cool pilgrimage all the way to Tunisia. Why? I don't know. I've seen some cool pictures of Tunisia. It would be nice to go there sometime. I have walked the holy path and I am now so holy that I will reform the Akamanism faith and put me as the head of it. Hastin literally is rocked up, said, damn, that's a cool bunch of islands, and then became king of them. But I will keep all of these very cool tenets. This one is absolutely great. This one is basically what the Vikings do, and this one lets us build cool megaliths. Very wonderful. I mean, this religion is literally made for this area. I love it. We could even make it even more Crusader Kings by allowing this. I don't know why I want to do this, but I do. Very cool. I am the head of faith. I will make it happen. Hastings is a bit kinky. He's also the goddamn Pope. Reform the religion. We are the Akamanic people, and I am Faikan Hastin of the Akamanic Faikanet. What does that mean? What does Faikan mean? I have no idea. I frankly don't want to know. I'm 84 years old, but still kicking. It's time to merge our cultures. We will be North Germanic. We will keep our North Germanic heritage. Time to pick our traditions. I really like Northern stories. This lets us raise runestones. We'll also pick stalwart defenders, coastal warriors, performative honor, and mystical ancestors. Now this is great. We are the Guanors. Very cool. This makes me the culture head and gives us a bunch of very cool technologies. It also lets me pick what I'm researching. We can take my very cool wife and have her boost my learning skill by 12. This means that we can build the gosh darn grand temples. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We'll also increase the development in these areas with our steward. That happens to be Ragnar Hastings on. Very cool. I will also take my revenge on the gosh darn Italians. King Louis, come here. Give me back Cagliari or give me death. That silver mine will be mine. I'm gonna kill so many Italians. Ah, I've captured the king of Italy. Hm, would you look at it? Or I can rightfully take back my island. Thank you very much. Well, I knew this was coming. I am like really, really old. I only have one more year left to live. But we really, really need city planning. This will let us build cities. We're five years away from this. We also need to boost the development of this area. But all I can do is to keep at it. I will not relent. I will not give up. 
If I can't do it, then my son Ragnar can. Unless my realm just like explodes, which would be very bad. Oi! Faikan Hastin has died! Faikan Ragnar ascends the throne! Is our lands intact? Yeah, sure, looks like it. Only little difference being that these islands are now ruled by my sisters. So uh, we're gonna promptly gobble those up. We'll also reset our perks, go into scholarship focus, and put out the stats we need to get to centralization all the way down to popular figurehead, divided attention, and architect. We can also make this really easy by picking likable. Now all we need is scholarly circles, and we're almost in a great position. Nice. Very good, very great. Let's get a secondary spouse with insane learning. And I guess we're gonna bury your sisters. Why not? Time to revoke some gosh darn titans. Tyranny means nothing to me. I have the army and you don't. And we're fighting our siblings. Come at me then. I don't think you're gonna be able to pull this off. You're not that kind of guy. We can even get a wonderful alliance and call in my house member. Come over here. My son! You ki you killed my son! Oh, that is it! This is, this is inexcusable! First of all, give me that title and give me that title too. If it wasn't for the fact that you're kin, I would, I would simply kill you where you stand. But I'm still gonna have you renounce your claims and get out of here. Leave. I hate you both. But at least I can now control the islands. Oh my lord, someone pushed me off a boat. I hate this. I'm now a child. Uh, but it seems I control all of the titles. That's like not even a problem. But I'm like zero years old. Very interesting. But this certainly puts a spin on things. Oh my lord, I am the boss baby. And I even got the risk curse. Ulf Ragnarsson. Tell you what. I'm just gonna rename myself. To Ragnar. Making me fake in Ragnar 2 Ragnarsson. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We already have 10 development. And we just unlocked city planning. Letting us build cities. Or even better. Let's build temples. All we need is that the barriers contains a holding. Temples will be plentiful enough. Now that has 10 development. So let's move on to the next one. Madeira has zero development. That's gonna go super quick to increase. Now I'm hoping to get a stewardship focus. Now I'm gonna be the absolute coolest kid there is. And I'm gonna abuse the heck out of the meat pierce decision. This is incredibly strong. The Guanors also unlocked the hill dweller tradition. This is hills, this is hills, and this is hills. Hill dweller therefore adds an extra 20% development growth in hills. I'm now turn four and it's time to meet my peers. This is super strong as it gives me amazing bonuses, like Marshall, cool friends, and a bunch of prestige. Using this, we can start off with amazing levels of prowess. Oh my lord, I am not just the best character, I am an even better character than Hastin, at least for what I'm about to do. First we marry this woman, absolute based shad woman. She will help me boost my learning by 8. Then we'll get secondary spouses. The higher the rank, the better. And fine, I'm gonna marry my cousin too. Yeehaw, Alabama. We'll pick stewardship and go for domain. We need to get to centralization and we need to get there quick. Now the only thing we have left to do is to get this to 10 development and this to 10 development. That's gonna take some time, but hopefully we'll be able to survive, considering how young we are. We'll also take my cousin and wife and have her develop these areas. Anything that can give us more development will be great. We've also picked up Edla Lambi, who's an even better stewardess. Very great. We will have all of this in no time. Just like you were my grandma. Last time you saw me, I was a child. But now I am 34 years old. Fake Ragnar 2 Ragnarsson of the Akamanic Fakenet. This character didn't look like much in the world to begin with, but he has become an absolute shad. Great stats across the board. Calm, honest, ambitious, but most importantly, very, very driven. We have built up the development of these areas and we are reaping the rewards. Look at all of those bonuses. That is insane levels of development growth. Across the board, we have reached a whopping level of 10, making our areas a bastion of knowledge compared to most of Africa. And all we need now is to wait a little bit for our massive amounts of gold to come in and we can do it. What we set out to do, 83 years ago, starting as none other than Jarl Hastin, who grew to a ripe old age of 98, succeeded by his son, my father Ragnar the First Hastinson, who was murdered, pushed off a boat by an unknown assailant, succeeded by me, finally doing what I set out to do. We become a mighty king! Since time immemorial, each of the islands have called themselves a kingdom of their own. But I have united all the islands and made them one. With fake in the Ragnar of the Canarias crowned as the first king of Canarias, the inhabitants of the isles 
At last have a symbol which unites them and a common goal of preserving our way of life. The future remains uncertain for Canarias, but the clearing of the new kingdom will undoubtedly usher in a whole new era for the island and the future of North Africa. Now we get to decide, do we continue as Africans or do we set out for a new faith to conquer Iberia? I tell you what, as your brave and shadish king, our future lies in Iberia. We will conquer it for my father. My name is Faken Ragnar the Great and I've gotten my kingdom, but now I want an empire. And as one last gift from my father, I shall put out the branch that he carried with him. A gift he got from his friend Björn Ironside. The branch of the sacred tree at the temple of Uppsala. A reminder of where we came from. My friends, I think I'm gonna end it here. But if you want me to continue this save, I will gladly take over all of Iberia. After all, that is Faker Ragnar's biggest goal. With our massive development growth, this area will just get richer and richer and we will easily be able to conquer these holdings. My cousin rules here anyways, so conquering all of this will be a very interesting goal. Now just to show you how absolutely crazy the world has gotten while I've been focusing on this corner, Europe is shattered. The son of King Björn Ironside rules a united Sweden. England looks like someone shoot it up and puked it out. Frisia rules supreme over their coast. The Byzantines stay united, but the Tulanids are properly weakened. If you want me to continue this series, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay great and volcanic, my dudes. Yeet! Oh my god, Attack on Titan, Hastin! <laughs>